particular story, we go to a story of a champion for equal rights. Yes, his name is Damon Keith, and he's a federal judge on the U.S. Court of Appeals for the 6th District. And he has ruled on some of the country's most historic yes. landmark yes. cases, huh? When I stopped pre uh, uh, President uh, Nixon for wiretapping, yes. I went to the Supreme Court. They call it the Keith case. Yes. The busing case in Pontiac, desegregating Hamtramck, desegregating the police here in Detroit. Just, uh, God just gave me these decisions. We're looking at a man who's 94 years old, not Reverend V. Lonnie Peake, but we're talking about Judge <laughs> yeah. Damon Keith. But uh, V. Lonnie Peake Jr. is with us. He brought us this story of Judge Damon Keith uh, on behalf of our partners at the Wayne County Community College District. Good to see you, my friend. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Good to be seen. Good yeah. to be seen. Absolutely. That's right. <laughs> but you know, Judge Keith is, uh, he, he says a whole lot in a small amount of words because he is such a guy. I mean, yes. this is a guy who you know, you when you hear that word, gravitas, you know, yeah. that you hear for politicians. This yes. is a guy that just carries it with him, right? Mm. He's, a, he's a great individual, and we're blessed to have him during our era of time. Mm -hmm. this, uh, this is coming out of the Washington Post. Mm -hmm. They did a feature story on him. And in the feature story on him, they talked about one of the decisions that he made, where over here, let me get myself organized, where, where in, the, of the, in the Voting Rights Act in Ohio, the Ohio case is a circuit court, he gave a minority opinion, and that was that he said his fellow judges overlooked the discrimination of absentee voting and restrictions of early voting. Mm. So he was a, his was a dissent. And like that he, was what year? This was back in 19, no, 2016. Mm. Okay. 2016. So talk, <clears throat> talk a little bit for the audience here. Remind everybody about these inequalities back when Judge right. Keith decided to pursue his career oh, in law. Because oh, now you're going right. back oh, before we're talking oh. about opinions and dissents. Yeah. And, you know. yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that's a good point, Chuck, because a lot of people just think, well, it, it's just normal. You know, you go to law school, you become a judge. No, it wasn't like that. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like that. He was studying for law school, and a reporter walked past him in the court building, because he was sitting on the floor, because he, he mopped the floor at night, you know, mm -hmm. to get money. And so, what are you doing? He says, I'm studying for law school. And he said, study for law school? He said, yeah. He said, no, you just need to keep learning how to mop floors. Mm -hmm. He wow. said, that gave him the impetus to say that he's not going to let folks block him based upon racism. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, over here is another quote from, Lee, from Supreme Court Thurgood Marshall, who told him to use the law for social change. He said, that's how you make the change. Real quick, we've got to go, but tell us about the Wright Museum, the inspiration. Wright Museum, Wright Museum was having difficulty raising money. Mm -hmm. He brought together a, a bunch of, of, of black folks, raised money, saved the museum. So he's an activist, right. not yeah. just a judge. Right. He does stuff and makes God stuff. God bless him. Yes. Good to see awesome. you. Good to see y'all. Yeah, we want to know about uh, any 